Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Calico. So if you have watched The Gainsplanation for Calico, you'll have an idea of how the game plays. I am going to have a brief run through. Uh, I've set the game up for two players. There is zero difference between a two, three or four player game. The only differences that I have is I've set the game up as the beginning game, which means you're using these three tiles. In a full game, you're using all the tiles and just picking three out of those. I believe that you pick four blind and then choose the three out of those four that you wish to use. Also, these tiles are normally face down so no one else can see them. I am leaving them face up so everyone can see what is going on. So let's get straight into it. This is the first player. He has the dot green and the line on blue. And he thinks that he'll put the dots there. He'll take a fresh tile in. He's going to try and get both of these. So he's looking for different shapes as well as different colors. So he thinks this line one will go there next. Uh, he probably needs to grab that one. A new tile lines up and it's over to this player. Uh, this player is going to start in here. He's looking for a lineup of those three. So he's going to go this way and put that one in there next. Uh, he will need another one to make that the AA. And he thinks that he'll grab that just for the moment. And we replace that tile out of the bag. Back over to this player. He's going to, yep, place that one in there. In fact, he might just leave that one to last. So in case he can't get the appropriate piece, he could put another dots one down there and get these points. So if he puts that there, that's setting up for this one. So he'll be able to put another one of them up the top and he'll grab that. Uh, this player, is going to throw that one straight in there and that gets him a straight line in that pattern which means he gets one of these cats straight onto it and he'll grab another one of that pattern and try and get around this one uh, they should be replaced every time so i do apologize i fear that i will do that quite often so please forgive he will throw this one here with the hopes of joining that through there with that pattern so that he can get the four straight for this and that will also give two of the same pattern for that tile. We'll grab that one. This player thinks it's probably worthwhile throwing this one in here. So he's got two of the same pattern on this tile. Uh, he thinks he'll grab that one, replace it. Back over to this player who will add purple in, we'll go there, so he's looking for another two of that pattern and or that colour. All three of these are already on that, this colour is already on that, so he's sitting back looking for, oh, no, he's just noticed that colour is not on there, but the dots already are. So he will sit back on that one, he'll go after this line next. This player is going to put this in just there. It's probably worth his while to grab that one. Next player goes out. So he's throwing this one in just there. Makes sense for him to grab that. So that's the same as that. He can put that in, in one of those spots and replace the tile. This player might add that one in there so he's looking for one more of these flowers in one of those two colors he's already got that pattern twice he needs this pattern again in one of those two colors so what he might do is grab that one and another one comes out back over to this player he thinks it's probably in his best interest to lay that one there if you can get another one of these and put it there, that would be very good. Um, but for the moment, he'll grab that. Back to this player and he will place 
that there. So the piece that needs to go here is that pattern in that color. These ones, if you can get another one of this pattern just there, that would be beneficial to him as well. Uh, so he might actually grab that pattern. This player is totally putting that one there. So he has four in a line, which is this. So he'll grab one of those cats and put it on there. He thinks he might grab that one for next time. This player will throw that there. That gives this pattern. So I'll throw a cat onto that. You might grab that one. Moving forward. He's looking for two very specific tiles to go in there. So the colors he's actually looking for is this color, but with a different pattern on it. He's looking for the striped pattern, but in a different color. So he needs that striped or this pattern on blue so on that but for the moment we can keep moving off on something else this one has these two has one of that he really wants to go in one of those three colors for the other spot so these guys aren't going to help with that at all what he could do is throw that one in there so he's got all three of the same pattern on that one but he's now looking for those two colors so you might grab that one. This guy is looking for that color to go in there, but he needs it on that pattern. He's looking for that pattern, but it needs to be on green or blue. That's the light blue, not the dark blue. He doesn't have any green or light blue to go in any of those spots, so he can't. So he's gonna be looking at these spots. Show that guy in just there. Back to this player. This player will throw the dots in there. That has three of this color. So they come across and he gets one more. He's gonna take that one. <coughs> this player is gonna put this one in and he'll put that just there. And he'll grab that one. Back to here, it will go for that color. So we now have three patterns on this one and three different colors. Grab that one. Okay, back to this player. He's going to put that one in there. He's only one tile away from actually getting that particular piece. There's not a purple one available, so he'll sit off on that for the moment. He needs a red one up here uh, with the flowers that doesn't exist yet. And green or blue. He might grab that green to go in one of these spots. This guy's going to go there. He might grab that. New one comes out. Over this player. I'll throw that in there. So we're looking for blue bars as the other ones here. He's now managed to get three of the green. So he gets one of those in. This guy's looking for this one, which unfortunately was also the one that this guy was looking for, but that's neither here nor there. So he will just place that in, making three the blues all joined together. He'll grab that one. We'll put that one up there. So that's now completed. What he's looking at is how to complete this one. He needs this color, but with the dots for that spot. So he's going to hold out for that. What he might do is just grab that one to go in here to at least get the thing combined. This player is going to add this one in. Just there, so he's got one, two, one, two. So he's just looking for this piece really to go in there. That's gonna mess up this one, but we'll get that one. The other one that he's looking at is that to go in one of those two spots. This player will throw that one up the top, so that's that same color. 
which gets him that. This one's going to go there eventually. At the moment, he's just filling up spaces until the appropriate piece comes out. This player is definitely going to put that one in there. And he's just literally looking for the bars and in the pink color for that last space. If you can throw in pink dots there, that will get those two correct. And that would need a, this color dots. So none of them are available. So we've only got those spots to come at. So what he might do is just throw that one in there. He should have two to choose from. Uh, so he'll just grab two and take that one. Okay, um, because he's got three of the green together, he'll add a green. She's going to add that in down there, which gets him that one. And grab that. Okay, I've just pushed to the end of a game, just so you can see what the scoring looks like. Just calling them one and two. So the first thing you're looking at is these points for these, so this player has not managed to get the colors because he's got two of the blue, but, or the dark blue that is, but he does have all of different shapes. So he's got 10 points there. This one, he's got three and three of the color and three and two of the pattern. So he's only got the blue one there. And this one, he's got one, two, three patterns, but he hasn't got the colors, so he's got the blue one. So no matter how hard he tried, he still only managed to get 24 points out of that. This player, one, two, one, two, one, two, at the shape, one, two, one, two, one, two of the pattern, so that's 11 points. This one, he has doubled up on the pattern, but the shapes are stable, so he just gets 10 points for that. And this one, he's got three, uh, greens, should I say, and three of the light blue, but he hasn't managed to do it on the shapes also. He's just got seven there, so it's 28 points. Then we go to the cats, and it's literally flip them over. So this guy's only got one cat, which is seven points. And this guy has two cats, which is eight points, a five and a three. Then we go to the color buttons, and they're three points each. So this guy's at one, two, three, four, five, so it's 15 points. And this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, has 18 points. So the total is 46, plays 54. This player is the winner. And that, my friends, is how to play Calico. I will leave it there. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.